When looking at projectors and screens, you'll often see the terms for aspect ratio and resolution get confused. In this video, we'll explain the differences between the two and try to make your shopping experience just a little bit easier. Welcome back to Carl's Place. I'm Ethan. Resolution is simply defined as the number of pixels that make up an image. You'll often see simplified names for the most common resolutions, such as 480p, 720p, 1080p, 4K, and 8K. These easily recognizable names are just shorthand for the full resolution, 1080p being 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels tall, and 4K referring to an image that's 3840 wide, almost 4000, by 2160 tall. Aspect ratio, on the other hand, describes the shape of the screen. Is it more rectangular? Is it more square? Aspect ratio describes the relationship between the height and the width of the display. Old CRT TVs were made to the broadcast standards of the day, being a four to three aspect ratio image, while most phones and modern TVs are 16 to nine. For example, imagine a home theater that has a screen that's eight feet wide by six feet tall. That would simplify down to a four to three ratio. A projector displaying a native 4K resolution will simplify down to 16 to nine ratio. If you mix and match aspect ratios between the screen and the projector, you may have either empty space that's unused on the screen or an overflow of the image on the sides. A perfect match of aspect ratio for both projector and screen will leave you with a satisfying edge-to-edge -edge image, providing you with the most immersive experience. To recap, aspect ratio refers to the height and the width of an image along with its shape, whereas resolution is simply defining the number of pixels that are in an image. I've included a link to a tool in the description that'll help calculate aspect ratio and it'll make your learning and shopping experience just a little bit easier. If you have questions about aspect ratio, resolution, or anything else Carl's Place, leave your questions down in the comments. Interesting or particularly helpful comments we might feature in a future video. Let's cover some of the previous questions now. David Cullen asks if we have sample packs for golf impact screens. Simple answer, yes we do. Visit carloft.com in any of the categories, you should see under accessories, sample packs. Click on sample packs and uh, you'll see the most common ones listed through there. I believe the bottom one is Coffin Pack screens. Um, that way you can kind of feel the different textures, the different thicknesses before you actually make your purchase and know what's gonna work best for you, your build and your setup. Dagger Vance and Marco have questions about excessive ball bounce back with our Coffin Pack screens and enclosure kits. Safety is obviously number one. Uh, make sure that everything is gonna be very safe, including having to deal with ball bounce back. Um, the easiest ways to mitigate ball bounce back is to make sure that the enclosure is built to specification. The pipe should only be inserted four inches into the fitting on the DIY and five inches on the Pro. Anything that's more or less um, on just a couple fittings can make a big difference in the overall picture. And either leave the screen too tight, which usually makes a lot more ball bounce back or too loose, which can cause a little bit more damage and wear to the screen. Um, so really nailing that four and five uh, for the respective um, enclosures is important. Or lastly, um, removing a couple bungees on either side. In most cases, as long as the fittings and pipes are lined up uh, properly, it's gonna resolve that problem. But those are a couple things you could try outside of that. And that's it for questions on this video. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments and we'll see if we can feature them in a future video. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you'd like to stick around and see more, subscribe by clicking on our logo. For related content, we put a couple extra videos over on the left side of the screen for you. For any of the products that we discussed in our video today, links as always are in the description down below. I'm Ethan with Carl's Place. I'll see you later.